Hey, welcome back to the Fairbanks Evening News, everyone. Mike Schultz with you once again for weather. Let's kick things off with a great photograph. This one sent in by San Gerald. He got up early Sunday morning and got a shot of the Aurora over the pipeline. Beautiful shot there. It's a postcard shot. If you have a photograph to share, by all means, send it to Mike Schultz at KTVF11.com. Well, what's going on right now at the airport? Six below. That's our high for the day. The low last night, 42 below. Record high, 35, 1994. Record low, 58 below, 1933. Sunrise this morning was at 946. Sunset at 426, which works out to six hours, 40 minutes of daylight, a gain of seven more minutes from yesterday. And our satellite picture is showing, once again, uh, the clouds starting to move in across much of Alaska. In fact, blizzard conditions across the southwest today. As you can see on the, lat the latest satellite radar, more moisture moving across the Alaska range, moving into our neck of the woods. What's going on across the rest of the state? Well, it's been a sloppy day over southeast Alaska. Rain and snow around Juneau. Some rain around Kodiak Island and Coal Bay also reporting rain as warmer temperatures move in with that system. But cool still up and down the west coast all the way to Barrow. 14 degrees and 20 below at Fort Yukon. Lots of clear skies there. Lower 48 weather. Again, a lot of weather to talk about over the Pacific Northwest, more rain falling. The storms that were over Texas have moved east. That's bringing lots of severe weather to much of the deep south and some rain over the uh, northeast part of the country. Here's the storm system we were talking about yesterday, really gathering strength, a lot of energy with this storm system and behind it, a lot of cold air uh, coming in behind it and that's gonna bring uh, much mixed precipitation over a lot of the country and over the Pacific Northwest also. The jet stream, the driving factor, once again, going way up across the north and then diving down, bringing all that cold air in across the Great Lakes while the rest of the country looks pretty good. Well, back to Alaska for tomorrow. First of all, the northern sections, looking at partly cloudy skies in Barrow, cloudy at Fort Yukon, and snow expected in Nome. Over the interior, looking at warmer temperatures with some snow at Fairbanks and Healy. We're already seeing that on the uh, radar. Eight degrees for the high in Fairbanks over southeast Alaska. Rain and snow at Juneau and periods of rain expected at Ketchikan over the southwest part of the state. Quite a bit of weather going on there. Rain and snow at Bethel and Cold Bay with rain for Kodiak Island. And it's going to get kind of sloppy down around the Anchorage Bowl. Freezing rain at Anchorage and Homer. Three to six inches of snow expected in Valdez. Well, once again, time for our kids' weather. And this week we're talking with the kids from Tuckasuk Brown Elementary School. Tonight, a young lady has a picture to share with us. Hi, my name is Jalen. I'm in Miss Nelson's class in Tickasick Brown Elementary School. And this is my weather picture. This is a picture of the Alaska range on a cold, clear day. The sun is setting and the moon is just coming up. Nice picture, Jaylene. Tomorrow night, a young man will be here with a question for me about weather. Here's your forecast for the remainder of the night. As you can see, oh, we have one more thing to pass along. We have once again an air quality problem going on. It never stops through 5 p.m. tomorrow. Fairbanks and North Pole unhealthy for sensitive groups. Children and those with respiratory problems should remain inside. We'll keep you advised on that. Here's your forecast for tonight. 13 below, cloudy and warmer with scattered snow showers. They're moving into the area as we speak. Uh, tomorrow's forecast, 8 degrees, continued warming with chances for snow off and on. And the extended forecast, again, temperatures very mild, at least in through the weekend. And then the cooling off by Monday, 3 degrees for the high, but still above normal and much better than we've been experiencing since Monday. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we are looking at a possibility of some light snow, probably on Thursday. And then after that, just mainly cloudy skies. Overnight lows still very comfortable, but dropping down below zero for the first time for a while.